Magandang hapon po sa ating po lahat uh, at nasa oras po tayo upang simulan ang ating afternoon service. Simulan po natin sa pag-awitan. Let's sing sweet by and by. And that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. Let's sing three verses po. First stanza now, ready? There's a land that is fairer than day. Let's sing, we'll understand it better by i 
po, magandang hapon po muli sa ating lahat, welcome po sa afternoon service and uh, bago po tayo magsimula at magpatuloy uh, tayo po muna yung manalangin, and let us all pray Panginoon Diyos, dakila sa lahat, maraming salamat po muli uh, sa oras na gugulin po Panginoon upang uh, uh, sa inyong salita ay patuloy po na dumalay po sa amin and we pray Father Panginoon uh, na patuloy po na gagawa ang iyong Um, mga kamay Panginoon sa bawat isa po sa amin uh, although ganito po ang aming condition set up um, naka virtual po but still Panginoon we are praising you and worshiping you Panginoon and we pray Father Panginoon uh, sa magsasalita bigyan niyo po ng knowledge ng wisdom po Panginoon upang maibahagi po Panginoon yung salita po Panginoon na nais niyo ipabatid sa bawat isa and we pray Father po sa aming um, Mga kapatid po, Panginoon, na uh, naka, nasa banig ng karamdaman, kayo po ang siyang uh, magbigay po ng kalakasan. At gayon din po, Panginoon, sa mga nagre-recover po, Panginoon, sa mga sakit, kayo po ang siyang magbigay ng uh, patuloy po na provision and guidance, Panginoon. And we pray, Father, Panginoon, sa lahat po ng gagawin ngayong hapon, kayo po nawa ang siyang ami tataas, lalahatiin, papapurihan. Sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Let's sing another song po. Let's sing Heaven Came Down.
Treasure pot at ang atin pong wabasayin assignment number 6 Divine Inspiration Evident by the Power of God's Word Okay, so sabay-sabay po natin basahin, so makita nyo po sa ating screen, so ready, read Assignment number 6 Divine Inspiration Evident by the Power of God's Word to Convict of Sin, Acts 2 37, now when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Produce faith. Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Make wise. Psalms 19, 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Produce joy. Jeremiah 15, 16. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. Produce peace. Psalms 85 verse 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. So tayo po dumako sa atin pong mission and vision. Let's read Mission and Vision Statement. Mission, introducing people to Christ, helping them grow, and ultimately reproducing the process in others until his eventual return. Vision, to see every member of the church as a soul winner, then a discipler, and eventually reproduce the process in others also. Maraming salamat po. Gandang hapon po sa atin lahat. Ito po ang testimony. Uh, testimony po is about po sa family, uh, sobrang mapapasalamat po sa Lord kasi kahit ano pong symptoms wala po kami sa mga kasama ko po dito sa bahay and po sa, sa school naman po, uh, nagpapasalamat din po kasi kahit po virtual po yung sa pag-aaral po ay may natututunan din naman po at sa, sa aming pong mga juniors po at testimony ko po is um, sana po makapunta na po kami sa church at sabay-sabay po kami maglilingkod sa Lord yung tulad po nung dat, mga dati na uh, makakamiss lang po and um, sa mga pumupunta po sa church uh, lagi po kayong mag-iingat and lalo na po ngayon sa panahon kayo na may kumakalat po na sakit marami na pong nadadamay at po sa mga nahawaan po ng sakit na uh, Pag-pray po natin po sila and alam naman po natin na hindi po sila papabayaan ng Lord and yun lang po. Maraming salamat po. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Ang testimony ko po is una-una po is nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat po ko sa Panginoon sa binigay niya pong blessing sa amin sa family ko sa araw-araw po. And nagpapasalamat din po ako sa Panginoon na nakasabay po amin ng 
14, 14 days quarantine po kasi nga pag iba pa nagka-COVID po si Kuya. So, nagpapasalamat po ako sa bed po. And nagpapasalamat din po sa mga member na tumulong po sa amin during quarantine po namin. Mga nagbibigay po, napunta po dito. Ang misalamat po. And syempre, nagpapasalamat din po ako sa Panginoon sa sa pagkabay po sa amin sa family ko sa lahat po. And syempre, nag-aan din po ako na kung makabalik po ako sa ano, sa kanya po kasi on din naman po na malihis po talaga ako yan and yun na nag work po ako ngayon hindi po ako makabalik sa work na need pa daw po magpaswab so ayan po and nagpapasalamat iba sa pangana na graduating po ako this July graduating po ako ng senior high yan pa maraming salamat po Uh, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat sa FBBC Laguna magandang hapon po sa inyo at buli po ako po ay nagpupuri nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon dahil patuloy po na ang gawain dito sa kabatuan ay nagpapatuloy naman po sa biyaya po ng Panginoon at uh, muli po maraming salamat po sa inyo sa suporta po ninyong ibinibigay sa sa mission sa missionary po dito sa Kabatuan at uh, si Pastor Ay po patuloy po namang uh, siya ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo na sa kabila po ng pandemic pero nakapagpapatuloy po ang gawain at uh, muli po uh, kami po ay uh, nakakadalawang taon na ang gawain natin dito sa Iloilo at uh, ang isa po ay nakakalungkot kung bakit ang panahon nga na Pagdating namin dito, nakakaisang taon pa lamang ay tumama na ang pandemic na iyan at uh, hindi po kayo makapunta. Miss na miss na po namin ang Laguna at BBC Laguna. Pero yun nga po, siguro, eh, hindi siguro, sa panahon po ng Panginoon ay eh, matatapos din po ito. At alam ko na tayo magkikita-kita pa na tayo ay mga malalakas. At... Uh, nga po, medyo nakakalungkot nga po na balita na tayo sa FBBC Laguna ay medyo merong outbreak ang FBBC Laguna. Ay, pero may pinapakita lang po doon siguro ang Panginoon sa atin lahat. At uh, uh, yun po ay matatapos din. At yun nga po, ingat po kayong lahat diyan. Hindi po biro talaga ang pandemic at meron na po tayong kasamahan na namatay si Brother Arnold at uh, siya po ay isa sa uh, yun nga po yung COVID na iyan ay siya po ay hindi na natin makakasama but uh, anyway po ay yun po ang gawain po dito ay salamat po sa Panginoon nakapagpapatuloy po ang ating gawain dito ang gawain po ng Panginoon ay patuloy po ngayon lang po ay medyo kung, kung paano po kayo diyan ay mahirap na sitwasyon ay lalo po dito kasi ang ilu-ilo po ay tumataas at tumadami pa ang 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 virus na kumakalat at marami pa ang naiimpek at yun nga po ipanalangin nating lahat tayong lahat na na wala nang ma maimpek na mga tao pero talaga pong napakahirap ng ganitong sitwasyon at yun nga po uh, ang gawain po ay apektado talaga pong apektado. Pero nagpapatuloy po ang gawain dito. Hindi naman po tumitigil kami. Kahit konti lang po ang dumadalo, patuloy po naman na may mga services. At uh, yun po, na nawa po ay matapos na nga ang lahat at nang tayo ay makapag uh, makapag uh, fellowship na dito. At nawa po ay kayo ay makarating dito. Makita po ninyo ang gawain ng FBBM Iloilo. At muli po, ah, uh, Kumusta na lang po sa inyo lahat diyan, kayo po ay mag-iingat at uh, hindi po biro ang pandemic na lumalaganap na iyan, talaga pong napakabigat at pag tayo katulad naming may mga edad na ay delikado para sa mga viruses na kumakalat ngayon. At uh, muli po maraming maraming salamat po at uh, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. God bless po at ang papuri pong lahat na ang ito ay sa Panginoon. before me and the wind is blowing strong when the witnesses surround me and my strength is almost gone when the valley plunges
to change us and to fill us with a passion for the Lord. In our churches, in our homes, it must be God and God alone who satisfies our longing for peace.
magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat at uh, ako po ay nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat meron po tayong ganitong klase ng opportunity na makapagtipon-tipon despite our current circumstances. Uh, although we're doing it virtually but I know um, kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spirito ay kikilos sa bawat isa po sa atin upang ang kanyang salita ay hindi mawalan ng kabuluhan okay, sa mga nakikinig po. So, tayo po ay tutunghay ng atin pong mga Biblia at atin pong buksan ng ating mga Biblia sa aklat po ng Philippians. So, ito po ang ating uh, pinag-aaralan po for this month. Ang theme po natin ay Living the Past and Pressing Towards the Goal. Okay? So napaka-importante po na uh, itong paksang ito dahil uh, we will benefit uh, out of this as we know at uh, malaman po natin ang katotohanan na ito. Ang sinasabi po ni Apostle Pablo sa mga taga Filipos, okay, sa Philippians chapter 3, Okay, beginning from verse number 12 until verse number 14. Okay, so I hope you read along with me okay, by uh, opening your Bible okay, in this passage of Scripture. So verse number 12, I'll read. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Verse number 13, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And verse number 14, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Tayo po muna ay sandaling manalangin. Atin pong itungo ang ating mga matulo at ipikit ang ating mga mata tayo po yung manalangin. Diyos naming Ama, maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na ipinagkalob niyo po upang ang inyong salita ay aming pong mapagbulay-bulayan sa hapong ito. Dalangin Panginoon na kayo po ang patuloy na kumilos sa kalagitnaan po namin although we are gathering virtually but I know your Holy Spirit will work in the midst of us, Panginoon. Dalangin po namin sa circumstances na amin pong pinagdaraanan sa sitwasyon po ng pandemia. Alam ko po, Panginoon, that we have a purpose. And uh, I pray, Lord, that you take good care of your people at uh, patuloy po kaming manangan sa inyo pong salita. Dalangin po sa hapong ito ang mga kapatira na hindi Uh, nakaratay, Panginoon, sa banig ng karamdaman, inyo pong patuloy na katagpuin at uh, sa pamagitan ng inyong mapagpalang kamay ay inyo pong hipuin upang sila po ay gumaling sa kanila pong karamdaman. Dalangin po ang inyong salita namin pagbubulay-bulayan ngayong hapon, inyo pong pagpalain. Dalangin po ang inyong abang lingkod na inyo pong itago sa likuran ng puso pang ang aming Panginoong So Kristo ang siyang mahayag at uh, aming maluwalhati sa kalagitnaan po namin. Ang lahat pong ito ay dalangin, hiling at pasasalamat sa tanging pangalan lamang ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Alright, so napag-aralan po natin at binasa po natin ang Philippians chapter 3 at ito po ay isa sa mga uh, sulat po ni Apostle Paul. Okay, so Makita po natin dito yung uh, encouragement din sa atin and a reminder okay, sa atin pong mga mananampalataya. Okay? So, this afternoon po, ang atin pong paksa na tatalakayin ay forgetting the past and pressing forward. Okay? Forgetting the past and pressing forward. So, isa po sa mahirap gawin bilang isang tao okay, ay yung pong kalimutan yung nakaraan. Okay? Pero meron pong awitin na 
ang line goes like this na sabi ko, kalimutan mo na ang nakaraan ngayon'y nakalaan ang buhay mo sa ating Panginoon ang bako-bakong landas tinuwid na ng Mesyas patunayan mong ikaw ngayon'y ligtas So, yan po yung isang awitin na nagre-remind sa atin na may mga bagay po tayo ng nakaraan na kailangan po nating limutin na. But, uh, sabi po eh, forgetting those things which are behind. So, yan po yung paalala dito sa atin ni Apostle Paul. And, maybe some of you will agree or disagree with me. Okay? You might say, uh, We must not forget our previous experiences because out, out of those experiences, we learn from it. Sabi nga eh, if we don't le learn mistakes uh, from the past, then we are bound to repeat the same mistake. Well, I agree. And that's very true. And uh, this might be some of your contentions or your arguments in saying that we should not forget about the past. You might say, well, uh, think of how wonderful people have been in an influence in your life. Okay? Should you forget about them? Well, I guess not. And your second contention might be, uh, who and what we are today is actually the cumulative sum of our past life and experiences. And thirdly, you might say, well, we have had great experiences with the Lord and we are told to remember those. And fourthly, uh, we can see in the passage of, of Scripture that God told the Israelites to make memorials to commemorate the great deeds which he hath done for them well i agree okay so i don't disagree with you however okay so there's a word however so one of the thing that keeps so many people from going forward is their unwillingness to forget or to set aside things from their past Ha? So, yun yung usually na mahirap gawin natin. That's why, sabi nga eh, many are unwilling to forget their prosperity, uh, their position, their achievements, their possessions. So, this actually hinder us in fully following our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so I think this was Paul's intention in saying to forget the past. Okay, so don't hold back. Okay, dun sa past po natin. Because he knew, Apostle Paul, alam po niya, there is a tendency for us as Christians that we would be stopped working for God because we might feel that we have already attained something for the Lord. And that will keep us stuck in following and fully serving the Lord. Okay? So I think that's the intention here of Apostle Paul in saying Philippians chapter 3 uh, verses 2 to 14. So this is the context of... Uh, The, this passage of scripture that Apostle Paul is mentioning. Okay? Kasi nga po, if we hold on the past, okay, yung ating mga past successes, diba? yung mga past achievements natin sa buhay po natin, so this actually will hinder us to keep on keeping on and fully serving the Lord because we might feel and uh, uh, we have already attained something for the Lord. But, I believe God is interested more in our future. Okay? So, yung past, okay, so, nakalipas na yun eh. You can do 
anything about your past, but you can do something in the future. So, I have here an illustration, and uh, since we have read the book of Philippians, and it was written by Apostle Paul, so our illustration here is Apostle Paul. Okay? So, makikita po natin dito while he was mentoring uh, his protege and uh, that is Timothy okay so makikita po natin in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and in verse number uh, 11 verses 11 to 16 so I'll be reading uh, this passage uh, ano po yung sinasabi dito ni Apostle Paul, okay, in uh, the book of Timothy, okay, sa kay Timothy po. Sabi po ng verse, verse number 11, According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, okay, putting me into the ministry. Verse number 13, who was before a blasphemer. So this was actually the uh, the state of Apostle Paul when he was sold in. Okay? So he was a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. But, thank God there is a word but. Okay? So, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. In verse number 14, And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Verse 16, How bait for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might shew forth all long suffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on Him to life everlasting. So, makita po natin dito yung situation ni Apostle Paul when he was, pulled in, uh, when he was sold in. Okay? Makita po natin that uh, number one point is for us to press on. Okay? So, point number one is don't let your past keep you from serving God. Okay? Alam ko may mga past po tayo. And aminin ko po, meron po rin akong past. And if I will be lingering on the past, that might hinder me to be used by God once again. ba? So, tayo po yung magiging talunan, okay? Uh, if we will still linger on the past. So here, Apostle Paul is saying, don't let your past keep you from serving the Lord. So when Apostle Paul way back then, so makita po natin, uh, sabi nga yung kanyang testimony sa uh, kay Timothy, sabi niya dito, I am the chief among them. He was before a blasphemer. So, ano po yung ginagawa niya? Okay? So, when uh, when uh, preachers or believers in Christ or followers of Christ, Christians at that, and during his time, ay nangangaral ng salita ng Diyos, eh, isa po siya. Okay? sa mga kumakalaban dito. And in fact, so we can see that he was present at the stoning of Stephen. Okay? So Stephen, for some of you, uh, siya po ang first martyr, first Christian martyr. Okay? And we can find that in Acts chapter 7, verse number 58. Okay? So in Acts chapter 7, verse number 58, it says here, Okay, and I'll read Acts 7, verse 58. And cast him out of the city. So, ito po ang context po nito, yung uh, stoning po ni Stephen. 
Okay, so if you will begin reading from verse number 54. So in verse number uh, 58 po, it says, And cast him out of the city, and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. So he was present. And in staying in the same uh, same account in uh, chapter 8, Okay, so if we uh, keep on reading, in verse number 8, we can see here that uh, siya po yung, uh, okay, nakita po natin that Saul here or Apostle Paul uh, then uh, consented the, 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 the death of Stephen. In verse number 1, chapter 8, and Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. So, makita po natin dito yung past po ni, ni Apostle Paul. Mameron po siyang uh, hindi magandang nakaraan. Okay? Uh, he consented the death of uh, Stephen. Okay? Nakita po natin yun. Okay? And uh, for the lesson that Apostle Paul has learned is, sabi nga, we must learn to forget. So, magandang isipin po, di ba? Kung meron tayong uh, hindi magandang nakaraan. So, I hope that will not keep us, okay, from uh, serving the Lord or uh, following the Lord. Okay? So, we have, uh, I mean, we're given by God a fresh new start. Okay? So, so, yung lesson dito na natutunan ni Apostle Paul while he was uh, mentoring Timothy is, yeah, uh, I have, uh, sabi nga eh, I might been a failure in the in the past because uh, I, I did it in unbelief. Okay? Hindi ko pa nun or hindi pa nun niya kilala kung sino si Kristo. Okay? Until he met the Lord Jesus Christ, and he was personally called. Okay? So, that's why he became an apostle, and that's one of the qualification of being an apostle, that you are personally called by God. And, uh, he has also seen the, sabi nga eh, yung, yung, yung uh, resurrected body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So, he was, uh, Sabi nga, a cold personally in the road of Damascus while he was on his way to persecute the the Christians or uh, in church. Okay? So, dito niya na, na doon siya nagkaroon ng encounter sa Panginoon. And he then realized na yun palang ginagawa niya ay parang sabi nga eh, walang kabuluhan. Okay? So, he's kicking against the prick. And uh, he's persecuting the true and the living God. Okay. So, yun po yung natutunan dito ni Apostle Paul. And if Paul did not learn to forget his past, I think he will be or he will fail to grasp the truth of learning to forget. Okay. And hindi po siya gagamitan mightily ng Panginoon. In fact, uh, sabi nga eh, 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 eh anyway uh, if uh, we we did not learn to f to to forget then we will be handicapped spiritually okay so yun yung pangahawakan sa atin ng kalaban ni satanas for us not to continue not to keep on keeping on okay so we will be handicapped spiritually and that will be for the rest of our life for the rest of our entire life Okay? So, yun yung pangahawakan sa atin ng kalaman. And we will never be able to reach forth 
unto those things which are before. So yan yung mahalaga, di ba? Reaching forth unto those things which are before. So we will not achieve this unless we chose to forget. And as we see the result, okay? So if we will be reading the life of Paul, okay? So yun kanyang missionary journeys on how God used Apostle Paul mighty and look at his accomplishments. He even turned the world upside down. In fact, if uh, you have your, your scripture, almost half of the New Testament was written by Apostle Paul. And he is uh, inspiring the churches, inspiring Christians and believers at that to keep on pressing on and reaching forth the goal. Okay? Press toward the mark. So, yun po yung encouragement sa atin ni Apostle Paul. And who is this man? na nagsasabi po nito, yung meron pong madilim na nakaraan. Okay? Persecutor. A blasphemer. So, if he linger dun po sa kanyang past, I think he will not achieve what he has achieved. Okay? Na alam po natin. Okay? Na naging accomplishment ni Apostle Paul. So, ganun din po tayo bilang mga mananampalataya. Marami po tayo probably na masalimuot na nangyari sa buhay po natin in our personal life in our, even in our Christian life but the encouragement here is keep pressing on okay uh, sorry medyo nagiging emotional ako but uh, learn things from the past but don't hold dun sa past po natin. Okay? Para still magpatuloy po tayo, especially kung yung aalalahanin natin in the past is uh, failures, uh, heartaches, pains, problems. We can move on if we will hold on that. So, that's why I I'm personally encouraged here by the word of God na keep pressing on for you to be able to reach what is ahead okay uh, to reach forth unto those things which were before move on keep on because that's the only way for you to succeed and to reach what lies ahead okay so I know in life we have struggles. Meron po tayong mga persecutions probably. Meron po tayo hardships in uh, while we are walking the Christian walk, the Christian life. Sabi nga, it's not actually a road na maayos. Okay? In fact, when you became a Christian, you are enlisted in you're in a battlefield already because sabi nga, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Diba? So, yun yung buhay kristyano eh, na ang maganda dito is meron pong salita ng Diyos as our guide for us to be successful in our Christian walk, in our Christian life. So, Apostle Paul is uh, encouraging everyone na probably na sideline na tayo sa Christian life po natin. Apostle Paul is saying, Hey, hindi mo kailangang magmukmok, hindi mo kailangang tumigil na lamang at huwag magpatuloy. In fact, siya po mismo yung pwede nating maging example na yung kanyang nakaraan so hindi po yung naging way para hindi po siya magpatuloy at gamitin mightily ng Panginoon. I know the Lord will do something great in your life if we will just be following the Lord at magpapagamit po tayo sa Panginoon. 
Okay? So that's an encouragement of Apostle Paul. And uh, the danger of looking back is that uh, it might uh, hinder or looking back so that encourages actually the possibility of going back. Okay? So if we will go back at hindi naman maganda yung babalikan natin. So there's a possibility na hindi tayo mag patuloy. Okay? And looking back keeps us from looking to God for help. Okay? So, hindi na tayo nagiging dependent sa Panginoon. So, dapat sa Christian life po natin, we should always depend on the mercies and grace of God. It's only by the grace of God na tayo po ay nandito, na tayo po ay nagpapatuloy dahil po yan ay sa biyaya ng Panginoon po sa bawat isa po sa atin. So, for us to press on, for us to forget the past and press on, let us number one, uh, point number one is don't let your past keep you from serving God. Okay. And secondly, okay, number two is don't let your past keep you from your future. Okay. Don't let your past keep you from your future. So in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, so it is saying here that you have a great destiny. Well, uh, for for us as Christians, we be, that's because we belong to God. Okay? Uh, sabi nga, we have a great destiny. Kailan tayo magkakaroon ng great destiny? First and foremost, if you belong to God. What am I saying? When I say you belong to God is that you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Okay? Kailan na nangyayari yun? At the point of salvation. So, I'll be saying na hindi po lahat ay anak ng Diyos. That's the truth. At yan po ay masakit na katotohanan if you will read your Bible. Okay? Because Ano po yung dahilan para mamatay pa si Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo kung lahat naman pala ay pupunta ng langit at anak ng Diyos? What's the essence of Christ's death on the cross? That's because we are all sinners and we are doomed sa hell. So, yan po yung masakit na katotohanan. But, Sabi nga po, hindi po natin kayang pumunta ng langit on our own. That's why God sent His Son, His only Son, to die for us. And according to John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be safe. And John 1.12 says, Abi po dito, that's the moment when you profess, when you confess. Okay? And, uh, tinanggap po natin ang Panginoong Sokristo sa puso natin bilang ating Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. The book of John says, and I'll be reading in, in John chapter, John chapter one, verse number twelve. Okay, so quickly lang po, so just to prove a point. John chapter one, verse number twelve. Okay, so it says here. Okay, it's actually a, a familiar passage of scripture. 
And the book of John says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So, we might not be experiencing a great destiny if hindi pa po natin tinatanggap ang Panginoong Sokristo as our Lord and personal Savior as what John is saying here. As many as receive Him, sabi po, to them gave He the power to become the sons of God. So that's the only time na tayo po ay transfer into the family of God. Nagiging anak tayo ng Diyos. The moment we believed and received the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. So you want to have a great destiny? First, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And you will have a great destiny. So sabi po in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 19 and 20, I'll read. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Okay? Kasi sabi nga po in, uh, in Ephesians, later on, I'll, I'll be reading as well uh, the book of Ephesians. Okay, so sabi po dito, I'll continue reading 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Verse 20, For ye are bought with a price. Diba? Ano po yung price na pinambili po sa atin, na pinangtubos po sa atin, dahil tayo po ay nakasangla. Okay? So the price is, diba? or yung pong, uh, pinambayad po sa atin ay ang dugo ng Panginoong sa Kristo that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Imagine kung gaano tayo kamahal ng Diyos na siya ay nanaog mula sa langit para magkatawang tao at iligtas po tayo. So, bakit hindi tayo magkakaroon ng magandang destiny? If God is willing to die for us sinners. That's how God is. How great our God is. Na siya po yung nag-provide sa atin ng redemption. We are bought with a price. And therefore, sabi ng verse, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So we belong already to God. We have a great destiny. So don't let your past keep you from your future. Okay? So don't hold on the past. Don't linger dun sa past po natin. And also, God has a plan for your life. May plano po ang Diyos sa atin. God is interested in your life. Okay? In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse number 11, I'll read, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Diba? So meron pong plano ang Diyos sa atin. God has a plan for your life. And if that is God's plan, I think, and I'm sure, that is the best plan ever. Diba? Ang sarap po ng uh, privilegio na tayo po ay naging anak ng Diyos. Okay? So therefore, don't let your past keep you from your future. So, God is interested in our future. Okay? So, God has the best plan. In Jeremiah, still in the same book, okay, few chapters 
uh, behind. So Jeremiah chapter 18 verse number 4. It says there, And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, a sin good to the potter to make it. Diba? So God is our potter and we are the clay. Diba? So God is molding our lives. And uh, in saying that God has a great, great, great plan for your life. So don't linger on the past. Keep pressing on. Move forward. Okay? So Apostle Hill, for you to be able to reach what, sh what is before, so let's forget the past. That's the condition. And sabi nga eh, forgetting. So that's an imperative command. You forget the past. Okay? So hindi po siya pakiusap actually. It's an imperative command that we forget the past for us to be able to reach what to reach what is before okay so sabi po dito if even if your life has been messed up still god is not finished with you yet diba? hindi pa tapos sa atin ang panginoon Diba? He has developed a new plan for your life. Okay? So, taking you from where you are today and moving you forward to a great future. So, that's an encouragement for us Christians. To keep on. Just forget the past. Okay? Yes, you have learned lesson from the past. But don't hold. Okay? So, mar marami tayong mga lessons in, in the scriptures when they keep holding on their past. Eh, hindi naging maganda yung result. So, look at, uh, sabi nga eh, remember Lot's wife. Diba? So, uh, we have learned that already in our past lessons, uh, on the preachings that we have heard. So, remember Lot's wife. Diba? So, Lot and uh, his family was living in, in, in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Sodom and Gomorrah is not actually a place for us. Especially for Christians. Diba? That's why God instructed Abraham para alisin po si Lot in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because hindi po kalooban ng Diyos na nandun po tayo sa ganong klase ng situation. But, when Lot escaped before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and his family, so sa, nakita po natin in the passage of scripture that sabi nung pa ang instruction ng Panginoon, don't look back. And what Lot's wife did was, he, uh, she turned back. Lumingon po siya. But clear ang instruction ng Panginoon. It's an imperative command. Do not look back. And we know what happened. Lot's wife, she became a pillar of soul. Bakit kaya soul? Diba? Ano po ba ang essence ng salt. Ang salt po ay ginagamit bilang preservation. Preservative. ba? Para hindi masira yung pagkain po natin. Nilalagyan natin ng asin. Okay? So that's actually a reminder for us Christians that we should be a salt. ba? We should be a light. Sabi nga eh, ano pa ang use ng asin kung wala na yung alat niya. Diba? We can actually see that in the book of Matthew. Okay. Uh, in the book of Matthew, we could see here na meron tayong instruction from, from the Word of God. 
in verse number 13, we are recommended, sabi po dito, and sabi nga eh, uh, according to, to Matthew chapter 5, verse number 13, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, where we shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be trodden, uh, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. And we are also the light. So that's why when, when, when uh, Lot's wife turned back, so she became a pillar of salt. So that's a reminder for us Christians na tayo ay maging asin sa mundong masama. Diba? So let us transform. Let us not conform. So sabi ng, uh, that's in the book of Romans. I think it's Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Diba? So tayo ay maging transformer, hindi maging conformer. Okay? So it's like, becoming a thermostat, di ba? So, kung ano yung gusto nating temperature, yun ang dapat mangyari. Parang sa air conditioning, di ba? If you set this on uh, this temperature, so, until that temperature, i-reach niya yung desired temperature natin. Because that that's what we want. Okay? Unlike thermometer, kung ano lamang yung sukat, so, yun ang binigage niya. Okay? So, makita natin, uh, let us be uh, a salt of the earth. So, here makita po natin, okay, so let's go back, going back. So, if even if your life has been messed up, God's not finished with you yet. And He has developed a plan for you, taking you from where you are today, and moving you forward to a great future. So that's actually an encouragement for us. And also, if uh, don't keep your past or don't let your past to keep you from your future because num number three is you're already a winner. You're already victorious. Okay? So, we could see there in 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 uh in first john chapter 4 verse number 4 so i'll be reading again the passage of scripture in first john chapter 4 and verse number 4 it says there ye are of god little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you okay than he that is in the world. We are already an overcomer. And that's because of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are already victorious. Diba? Parang masarap isipin nyo na nakikipag-battle tayo, pero alam natin in the end, panalo tayo. Diba? Parang uh, uh, isang uh, illustration for, uh, for this is yung uh, parang wrestling, diba? yung napapanood na wrestling match na it's actually a show na alam na nung participants nung dalawang magkalaban kung sino yung mananalo so what they're trying to do is to give a good show for the audience diba? so if you know that you're already a winner so you're just doing a a thing na alam mo na at in the end, panalo ka na. Parang ganun eh. Diba? Although we are in the battlefield, but if uh, we will be thinking that we're already a winner, and hindi yung sa sarili natin, of course, that's because of the grace of God. Okay? So we are already victorious. So, in Adam, we were born loser. Okay? Dahil sa lahat ng maipapamana ni Adam sa atin or ni Adan ay yung kasalanan. Okay? For us in Adam, all die. What do you mean by that? So when we speak of uh, when we speak of death, it means separation. Diba? We are separated from God. 
Okay? Na naging makasalanan tayo because God is holy and we are sinners that keeps us from God. So, what the Lord Jesus Christ did ay inialay niya, binigay niya yung kanyang buhay for us to have redemption, for us to have salvation. So, that's why we have access. And, sabi nga, eh, ang, ang, ang naging end nun is, nagkaroon tayo ng privilege na maging anak ng Diyos. Okay? So, in Adam, we were, we were born a loser, but in Christ, tayo ay pinanganak a winner. Okay? So, nagkaroon tayo ng pangalawang kapanganakan. And that's when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, that's actually you've been born again. Okay? Pinanganak na muli. Okay? Kaya, sa mga nanonood po, especially dun sa mga kaibigan po natin, uh, sa mga bisita po natin, uh, better to have two births because you will have only one death. Or perhaps, you might not experience that. Ano po yung sinasabi ko? Meron pong account in the book of John, uh, John chapter 3, ito po yung conversation ni uh, Nicodemus, tama ba? And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So, one of the Pharisee, so when we say Pharisee, so, para, these are actually doctors of the law. They they know the law. Okay? But, uh, because as a natural man, uh, he was blinded. Diba? So, in in, in John chapter 3, it says here, uh, Nicodemus actually has a question uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 1, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher from God, or come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So, you think sabi ng Panginoon, Except you be born again, you can see the kingdom of God. So, Nagtanong dito si Nicodemus in verse number 4. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? So that's the question of Nicodemus. Paano mangyayari na ipapanganak akong muli? I'm already a grown-up man. Can I enter the second time into my mother's womb and be born? So, humanly speaking, that's impossible. But what the Lord Jesus Christ is saying here, verse number 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So, except a man be born of water. So, the word of God symbolizes water. It cleanses us from our unrighteousness. Diba? Yung salita ng Diyos. Yun ang symbolism po niya, it's water. ba? Unless, tawa, na ipanganak ka, okay, sa tubig, or sa salita ng Diyos, or uh, makita mo yung sarili mo, na ikaw ay makasalanan, sa salita ng Diyos, na ikaw ay patungo ng impyerno, at sinasabi din sa salita ng Diyos, and the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, that, uh, except a man be born again, okay, you can't see the kingdom of God. So, sinasabi ng mga, uh, ng mga writers ng, uh, ng, ng the banal na kasulatan, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, then you will be saved. So, yun po, akala po kasi ni Nicodemus, that's the physical birth na tinutukoy. So, yung physical birth po natin, actually, sabi nga, we were born a loser. 
lahat pa po tayo ay namana po natin yung paging makasalanan ni Adan. Kaya tayo po ay naging makasalanan. Okay. So, yun yung po yung first birth. Yung second birth po na sinasabi ng Panginoong Sokristo na kung tayo po ay manampalataya sa, sa sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos, be born of water, then, tayo po ay magiging anak ng Diyos. Yan po yung nutukoy na pangalawang kapanganakan. Okay? So, kung meron po tayong pangalawang kapanganakan, meron po tayong isa na lamang kamatayan, and that's only physical. And perhaps, if the Lord Jesus Christ will not tarry, we will not experience physical death. If you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Diba? You're already a winner. You're already an overcomer. God has the best plan for you. So don't linger on the past. So don't let your past keep you from your future. Diba? For us to reach what to reach what is before. So let's forget the past. Kalimutan na natin yung nakaraan. Okay? At magpatuloy po tayo sa ating Christian life. And in conclusion, in Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 to 19, so dito po tayo magtatapos. So this is an encouragement from the Word of God. Sabi po ng Isaiah 43 18 to 19, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Okay? It's actually an imperative command. Okay? It's an imperative command. Hindi po siya pakiusap. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am not I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So we will not be experiencing this if we will hold back. The Israelites will never see the promised land if they will linger in Egypt. And I hope this afternoon ay naging blessing at naging pagpapala, reminder po sa atin ang salita ng Diyos in saying na forgetting the past and pressing towards our goal. Magpatuloy po tayo at yan po ay magagawa po natin sa biyaya ng Panginoon. So, tayo po ay maging sensitive sa living po ng Panginoon sa buhay po natin. And as we continue in our Christian race, sa marathon, tayo po ay huwag makakalimot dun sa basic or dun sa fundamentals ng Christian life. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtunghay at sa inyong matyagang pakikinig. And I hope na naging blessing po sa inyo ang lesson from the Word of God. Tayo po yung manalangin. Ama namin Diyos, salamat po sa inyong salita na naging pagpapala po sa amin. Help us, Father, na kami po ay uh, mabago ng inyong salita. Salamat po sa mensahe, Panginoon. At dalangin po namin na patuloy po kayong kumilos sa kalagitnaan po namin. Ang lahat po'y dalangin, hiling at pasasalamat sa tanging pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Tayo po ay manalangin sa bahagi ng ating pagkakaloob. Tayo po ay manalangin. Nakilang Diyos, salamat po at sa inyong biyaya ay di kami kailanman iniwa kung di patuloy na tinutukon ayon sa mga pangailangan at sa mga pagpapalang aming higit na maipagpapasalamat ay ang biyaya na kayo po ay mapaglingkuran. Salamat po at sa bahagi ng bawat isa 
na kung saan ay aming balik sa inyo ang ikapo, ang mga kaloob at maging ang mga pagpapala na kung saan ay inyong ibinuhos sa amin. Basbasan niyo po ang aming mga kaloob at ang magkakaloob sapagat ito po ang aming pasalamat na langin sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Isus. Amen. Muli pa, tayo po ay dumako po sa ating pangwakas na panalangin. Let us all pray. Panginoon Diyos, dakila sa lahat, maraming salamat po muli sa oras na nailaan nyo po Panginoon ngayong hapon with Team Andrews uh, na na ihayag po ang iyong salita at patuloy po Panginoon na tumimu po sa bawat nakikinig ang iyong salita ma-apply po Panginoon sa kanilang mga gawain. And we pray Father Panginoon sa aming kondisyon uh, sa mga susunod na serbisyo po sa isang linggo, nawa po is makabalik na rin po uh, kami sa aming normal na services, Panginoon, at makapagsamba po ng maayos at magpatuloy po, Panginoon, sa inyong kalooban. And we pray, Father, Panginoon, sa aming pagtatapos, kayo nawa po ang siyang aming lulatitiin, papurihan sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.